Today we have such an exciting episode. Why? Because we are making a regional dish from right here where I live in beautiful Alto Palancia in the province of Castellón, arroz empedrado. This is basically rice with white beans and cod. It is so good. Uh, it's kind of like a paella, but it's not a paella at all. However, I'm still going to be using my paella pan to make this, but you don't need a paella pan. You can just use a large uh, frying pan to make this. Anyways, the flavors here are so good, because this is kind of like a complete meal. You know, you've got the rice, the white beans, the cod, absolutely delicious, very easy to make and comes together in about 45 minutes. Now, traditionally to make this dish, they use salt, uh, dried cod, uh, but I know that's very hard for you guys to find out uh, wherever you're at. So I'm just gonna be using some fresh cod, which you guys can all easily find just to make things easier. And uh, also, this is a Spanish rice dish, so as always, we're gonna be using some high quality saffron. You know, do not use imitation saffron. I always tell you guys, it's so important to use the real deal here. You know, it's like having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with no jelly. It's like making barbecue ribs with no barbecue sauce. It's like having Mexican tacos with no hot sauce. You guys get my drift, very important. As always, I'm using saffron threads from Golden Saffron. This truly is some great one, high quality premium saffron. You guys always see me using the saffron, why? Because it's one of the best ones in the market. Link below where you guys can get this. All right, folks, let's get started. We're gonna begin by grabbing one jar of white beans. This is 300 grams, which is about one cup. We're gonna pour it into a sieve and then rinse the beans under some cold running water. Next up, I'm gonna grab four cloves of garlic and finely mince them. We'll grab half of a brown onion. Remove between two to three of the outer layers and finely dice it. Now I'm gonna grab four jarred roasted red bell peppers and add them on top of some paper towels and pat them dry. And I'm gonna roughly chop the roasted red bell peppers. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I've got a filet here of cod. This is 390 grams, which is about 14 ounces. I bought mine frozen and thought it out just to make things a lot cheaper. I'm gonna pat the cod down with some paper towels. And then I'm going to cut the cod filet right down the middle and cut it into pieces that are about half an inch apart. All right, guys, let's start cooking our dish. Grab a saucepan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add four cups of a high quality vegetable broth. And we're gonna pinch in half a teaspoon of saffron threads and let this come to a boil. That way that saffron can really infuse into the broth. And we'll move on to the next step. Let's grab a paella pan or any type of frying pan that you want, heat it with a medium high heat and add a quarter cup of the extra virgin olive oil. After heating the oil for two minutes, I'm gonna add in the diced onions and the minced garlic and mix them around with the oil. You want to mix this continuously, that way that garlic doesn't burn. Three minutes after adding in our onions and our garlic, I'm going to add the chopped roasted red bell peppers and one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. And mix it all together until it's well combined. Once everything's well mixed, and again, you always want to do this pretty quickly, that way that paprika doesn't get a bitter flavor. I'm gonna add half a cup of canned diced tomatoes and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And again, mix this all together until it's well combined. Two minutes after adding in the diced tomatoes, I'm gonna add one cup of round rice. This is very similar to medium grain rice. We'll add our white beans that have been drained and season again with a little sea salt. And start gently mixing everything together until it's well combined. Very important to mix this gently. You know, if you're too rough with it, those beans will fall apart. Once everything's well mixed, our saffron infused vegetable broth is already came to a boil, so this is ready. Let's go ahead and pour it into the pan. 
and mix everything around that way. It's evenly divided. You know, this is not like a paella where you just mix it now and the, uh, you can never mix it again. But you also don't want to over mix it. But you can get in there once in a while just to make sure everything's evenly distributed. Ten minutes after adding our broth into the pan, I'm going to lower the fire to a low medium heat and add the pieces of cod into the pan. Then get in there and mix everything around. That way that cod is evenly distributed throughout the pan. It's been about five to six minutes since we added the cod into the pan and lowered the fire to a low medium heat. As you can see, there's still quite a lot of broth here. That is okay, that is the way this dish is presented. It's not like a paella, we're super dry. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and remove it from the heat. And we're gonna cover it and let this rest here between three to four minutes. After four minutes, I'm gonna uncover our rice dish and look how beautiful this turned out. And we'll garnish it with some fresh parsley for a pop of color. Okay guys, our arroz empedrado is done. This looks absolutely delicious. Let's get in there, give it a try, and see how it tastes. I'm telling you guys, this looks unreal good. Here we go. Such a beautiful harmony of flavors here between all these amazing ingredients. There's so many different textures to this rice dish too, between the white beans, the rice, and the cod. I'm just telling you, it's I just love this dish. You know, it's a regional dish from here where I live in beautiful Alto Palantia. It's not very well known throughout the rest of Spain, let alone the rest of the world. But now you guys know how to make this amazing dish. Very easy to make, done in about 45 minutes. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.